We may not be at the convention center, but we intend to continue to preach the gospel of truth until we reach the promised land. I have no doubt in my mind that we will get there. Yes, kings and queens, brothers and sisters, greeting to you all. That is the voice of Mama Africa, Dr. Kana Chombol Kwao, after the cancellation of the, the convention that was scheduled to took place in Accra, Ghana in the last January this year. And four months later, uh, Dr. Kana Chombol Kwao visited um, Burkina Faso. So the message of hope now shifted from Ghana to uh, Burkina Faso. You know what? There's a song of Lucky Dube called Nobody Can Stop the Leg. And I want to say nobody can stop the message to be delivered. Uh, this is almost uh, four months after the cancellation of uh, the convention by the Ghanaian, Ghanaian government that was scheduled to took place in Accra, where Dr. Alkana Chomboli Kwao, uh, Professor Piero Mumba, Julius Malema, and Peter Hobby was uh, supposed to speak at that uh, convention. Same thing, same message. The world at large, they know that Africa's future is in the hands of our youth. So New Africa Foundation specifically requested us to come and address African youth, starting with the youth in Ghana. And from what I'm hearing, the youth had actually come from all over Africa and some came from outside Africa, specifically to hear the message. The message of empowerment, the message about our future, the message about the miseducation of not only our youth, but us as Africans. The message about empowering our children and letting them know that now it is the time for us to do what we must do to take our Africa back. For but four months later, Dr. Alkana Chombol Kwao uh, sent the same message to the young people in Burkina Faso. So you can try to change the rhythm, you can try to change some words, but you can't change the message. You can't stop the leg. And this is what happened. I, I know uh, the convention was cancelled, maybe due to political issues. Uh, you know, Dr. Alikana Chumbol Kwao, in the previous, before the convention scheduled, supported uh, revolutions in Burkina Faso. And this make some readers in ECOWAS not happy with uh, what happened in Burkina Faso. All of us will remember that President of Uganda, Nanada Kufo, reported the presence of Russian mercenaries in Burkina Faso to the United States of America. And this is what um, Nanada Kufo said to the United States of America about the presence of Russian mercenaries in Burkina Faso. We were part of the meeting and um, its significance for us and I think that beyond everything that is a matter that I want to urge upon you. Today Russian mercenaries are on our northern border. Burkina Faso has now entered into an arrangement uh, to go along with Mali in employing the Wagner forces there. I believe a mine in southern Burkina has been allocated to them as a form of payment for their services. Prime Minister of Burkina Faso in the last 10 days has been in Moscow. And to have them operating on our northern border is particularly distressing for us in Ghana. Apart from not uh, uh, accepting the idea of great powers once again making Africa the theater of operation. Yeah, that is uh, President Nanada Kufo uh, speaking in the United States of America. But after that, uh, we remember the convention was scheduled ahead and the convention was cancelled. Um, but Dr. Alkana Chumbori Kwao, Peter Hobi, 
uh, Professor Pierre Lumumba and Julius Malema was scheduled to speak in one of the convention that was to took place in Accra, Ghana, but the government of Ghana cancelled that a convention. But they promised that uh, the message of hope will be distributed all over the continent of Africa. And today you see uh, Dr. Kana Chomboli Kwao uh, is in Burkina Faso. Professor Pierre Mumba uh, this month also is in Liberia. So you can see how uh, you cannot stop the message of Africa. And as elders, we have a responsibility to share with them the truth and nothing but the truth. That is the message that we came here to deliver. That is what New Africa Foundation had requested us to do. So kings and queens, you can see the difference. So in Ghana, the convention was cancelled. Uh, Dr. Kana Chombol Kwao, Professor Piero Mumba, Julius Malema, Peter Hobi was supposed to speak at the convention, but the government cancelled that convention, maybe due to security issues. But in Burkina Faso, African diaspora delegations and Dr. Kana Chombol Kwao interacting with the youth. So it is just the way the government officials see things the way it is learning maybe security issues but that is a difference what i want to say is that uh we want these uh, african elders who have knowledge about africa to share their knowledges to our young people uh, i'm sure many of our young people uh they are not familiar with uh the the continent of africa if you go to Nigeria, you can ask someone about Mozambique. She or he don't know about Mozambique. Um, if you go to South Africa, if you ask someone about Sierra Leone, maybe he has a little knowledge about Sierra Leone. Even where you are, ask yourself, what do you know about Mauritius? What do you know about Madagascar? What do you know about Swaziland? What do you know about Tanzania? What do you know about... Uh, Burundi, what do you know about Central Africa? What do you know about Congo Brazzaville? What is found in Mozambique? What is found in Somalia, in Djibouti? What opportunities are in Ethiopia? What opportunities are in Somalia? What opportunities are in um, Namibia? So all of us, we need to be familiar with our mother continent Africa but you see the Chinese they know very well about this continent they know where there is gold in this continent they know where there is uh, oil in this continent they know where they can find uh, gemstones and of course I shared some videos showing you uh, Chinese are in the jungle uh, have camps in the jungle extracting minerals in Africa but we have no Africans in those areas, you can see. So we need these elders to share knowledge about Africa and to awakening with the people of Africa to understand and to take our responsibilities. I know politically this is a threat uh, because sometimes politicians don't want the youth to understand things uh, and to know their responsibilities. I know very well politicians are opportunists, opportunists. Uh, they want to take these opportunities of ignorance uh, to lead the people of Africa. But let us just think about the future. You are here today, tomorrow you are not there. So let us create a good environment for young men and women. We are, we are lamenting in social media, in television that young Africans sometimes are lazy. They are learning away from this continent, but we are not building capacities to them. We are not telling them the truth, and we are not allowing the people who are responsible to speak, to share with them, uh, to interact with these African youth. So we need uh, people like Julius Malema, Dr. Kana Chomboli Kwao, Professor Piyo Mumba, Joshua Maponga, 
Dr. and many others and even our presidents to move around this continent to share our experiences with African youth because the future of this continent is our youth. If we don't prepare our youth to take the lead of this continent, what do you expect? What do you expect? We want to create jobs. Who will create jobs? Politicians will not create jobs. And if they will create jobs, they will not go to work to those jobs. So politicians must create environments for these young men and women to become more innovative, to be self-determination, self-confidence, um, to have a confidence to... You know, we the people of Africa, we are not confident when we meet other civilization. We feel that we have nothing to offer. But it is because we are not prepared to be uh, in such condition, on such uh, ways. So we need um, to do better things. Of course, I'm trying to share this because I know that um, people, Africans want uh, good things. And this is what we are trying to, to do. So brothers and sisters, uh, let us spread the message of the hope. I hope this has shocked uh, President of Ghana, Nana Dakufo, uh, that the diaspora visited Ghana, uh, met with Captain Ibrahim Traore, the one who is working with Russia, and Ghana is not working with Russia, is working with the United States of America. And recently, read about President Nana Dakufo not signing the uh, bill in the parliament but all in all what we want to say we are africans we are africans we need to share knowledge to share things uh, to build our future so for me i think this is a good move for the people of africa we need uh, to come together we need to work together we need to collaborate to allow transmission of knowledge and experience from one generation to other generation uh, so that all of us who can have a clear picture we need to inherit some wisdoms from our elders from our leaders from our african brothers and sisters in all uh, parts of the world uh, for us the people of africa to change this continent you know uh, no one will come to change the continent of Africa or to build the continent of Africa. When you see people coming to Africa, they're not coming to uh, help us. They're coming to do businesses. They're coming to find opportunities. So even we, the people of Africa, we need to take uh, those opportunities to invest in our resources, to add value to our minerals. Uh, resource agricultural products and other resources that are found in this continent and through that we can create jobs we can uh, make our people students children more innovative and our continent can move forward uh, and you can develop from there so I think that is what I want to share to you kings and queens I hope you have many things uh, you know more things about about Africa, please share to our fellow brothers and sisters on the comment section because if we don't share your experience, we cannot understand and we cannot learn from you. Uh, we don't have a center that will bring us all together, but through this platform, I think you can come together. If you left your message of hope, knowledge, experience, people can lead those uh, messages or those uh, comments we can understand very well that's why I'm saying with the people of Africa especially youth we need to know very well about this continent where there are opportunities and from there and if we are going to integrate we are going to unite we can understand where we are going to start investing where there are opportunities according to your sector if it is in mining, you must understand where such kind of minerals are found, whether in gold, lithium, or energy. If you want to invest in agriculture, you must understand where there is a good condition for maybe maize, coin, 
bananas, lies, wherever you want to grow, you want to um, do business, you can find a place. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, we need to be familiar with our mother continent, Africa. Other civilizations are more familiar with Africa. They know Africa very well than we, the people of Africa, we know Africa. So many of our education system are not preparing us to understand this continent. We know the prayers in the Manchester United very well. We know prayers in and the fixtures of football clubs like Real Madrid, but we don't know opportunities that are found here in the continent of Africa. People prefer to go to Europe than to go to within the continent of Africa. This that's why Africa we are poor. We need to invest. Even I'm talking about soccer, even our football players. They are looking to play in Europe. They are not looking to play in Africa. Why? Because we are not investing much in our sports and games. For us to do so, we need also to invest. We need people to invest in African football, to invest in African things. By doing so, we can create jobs. Our young men, women cannot be attracted to learn away from this continent. We can move out of this poverty that we have in the continent of Africa. Of course, Africa is not poor. Africa is rich. The people of Africa are those who are poor. Africa itself or herself is not poor. Africa is rich. But the people of Africa are the ones who are poor. So we need to change also this condition to make the people of Africa also rich. Africa is rich and her people must be also rich. So that is what we are trying to say and we are sharing this message of hope. So Kings and Queens, this is your platform where you come, we share, uh, we provide solutions for our problems and not only solution, best solutions for our problems. So Kings and Queens, uh, let me not take a lot of time speaking. Um, Wish you a nice time. See you next time. Thank you.